The Vermont Ski and Snowboard Museum is located in Stowe Village. Our mission is to collect, preserve, and celebrate Vermont skiing and riding history. We have a really amazing collection that supports the idea that we want to show all the different facets of the sport. It's lifts, it's snowmaking, it's the equipment that people use, it's the clothing. Vermont had some of the first lifts installed in the country. So um, the first rope tow was here on Gilbert's Hill in Woodstock. Um, Mount Mansfield had the longest chair lift. We had the f first J-Bar um, at Bromley. That idea of increasing uphill transportation, that shift away from needing to wear your skins. And it did let, you know, open up skiing to a whole new group of people and started to make it more accessible. So the first important thing that happened in Vermont is definitely the founding of the National Ski Patrol. And that whole concept that has grown from one little accident on Mount Mansfield to be such a huge part of how all ski areas operate. The other place where Vermont led the way is in snowmaking. In Vermont, one veteran came back to Escutney Mountain in the late 40s and he developed the first snowmaking system. So he was experimenting with it on that little mountain. And from there, it went to Killington, which is not that far away. And from there, we saw the birth of snowmaking as we know it now, that allows a mountain to make it through tough weather, to lay the foundations for a great season, and to change those opening and closing dates. The other important first about Vermont is our athletes. Across the board, Vermont has set many first in competitions. Now with ski academies, we are training athletes in downhill and Nordic skiing and snowboarding on a very elite level. And you see lots of members of the US ski team now are coming out of an academy situation in Vermont. Another big first for Vermont is the role it played in the development of snowboarding. So Burton Snowboards, obviously, um, is still based in Vermont, started in Manchester, was the first major snowboard company, manufacturer. Snowboarders were initially found their home in places that welcomed them in Southern Vermont Stratton, Bromley. And to think of all the great things that um, Snowboard has brought to skiing and the terrain parks and all the half pipe and all those things that started as snowboarding things but have been adopted by skiers. I think that there's a nice now crossover of aspects of skiing that are, were borrowed by snowboarders. But historically, Vermont has always been a little ahead of the curve in the idea of attracting people to its unique, this unique place. I think it's also be, always been creating an amazing ski experience. There is a, a huge sense of camaraderie and the, that is still, I think, a huge part of why people are drawn to the sport.